Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is the calibration of a dual temperature meter. In this case, it's a Fieldpiece ST4, and this one comes with the two bead K-type temp sensors. They're actually thermocouples, uh, so they have two dissimilar metals welded together on the end, and these are very accurate for taking your temperature readings, which are very important to the HVACR technician. Uh, so these we mount on the suction and the liquid line for superheat and subcooling measurements with our refrigerant gauges. And we also use the temperature meter for reading delta T across the indoor evaporator coil for cooling. For conventional systems, there's typically around 18 to 21 degree delta T. We also use the delta T temperature measurements across the gas furnace or the oil-fired furnace in order to take our temp rise. So we use this type of meter a lot, and I, I like this meter because it's, it's adjustable down here. So if your sensors get pulled or something like that, you can always adjust the temperature measurements down here on the adjustable pots. The other thing that we're going to be doing in this video is I want to show you uh, what the difference is when you take one of these temp sensors out and you put a different one in. So that's a very big deal. You, you, once you calibrate this, you don't want to change these, these temp sensors out. So if you decided that you wanted one being a bead type and one a clamp in order to clamp around your suction or liquid line, then you should calibrate that ahead of time and not try to do that in the field. We're going to calibrate it with ice water. So we're going to have this whole bowl filled up with ice and water, and we're going to wait until the, the ice drops the temperature of the water down to 32 degrees. Then we're going to put our temp sensors right in the middle of this in order to be able to adjust these to 32 degrees. Right now we are reading the two right there. I have them all kind of wound up because I want them to take the temperature reading in the same location. So you see we're reading 59.4. We change it to T2, which is this one here, and we're about the same measurement. So what we can do is we can take a differential measurement right here, and we're at 0 0.1, 0 0.2 degrees off from each other. And that's very close, but the question still remains, are they accurately reading the temperature? So I've had this ice and water mixture sitting here for about five minutes now. And what I've done is I've moved the temp sensors around inside this bowl in a multitude of different spots, and we're still reading 34 degrees no matter where I put that at. So that tells me that the whole bowl is at uniform temperature and is now at 32 degrees. So it's also important to make sure that your sensors are in the middle height-wise and horizontal-wise just to make sure that you definitely are reading your 32 degree ice water. Now we're gonna go ahead and adjust our pots down here at the bottom. So you know I have this tool linked down in the description below if you're looking for it. And here we go, we're gonna go ahead and turn this clockwise until we get down to 32 degrees. There you go. Now we're gonna go over to T2. And we're gonna turn that one clockwise as well. It's just a little at a time, it doesn't need a whole lot. So now we're at 32 degrees. So let's just go ahead and pan back between them. You see 32 degrees on that temp sensor, 32 degrees on that temp sensor. So now we're good. And if you have a digital gauge set such as this right here, you can go ahead and adjust these pots as well. It works just the same way. So you just put these clamps right in your ice water. So this clamp has been sitting in this ice water for about five minutes. On T1, we're reading 32 degrees. And let's go over to T2. And it's really not, not bad at all, actually, 32.4. So it's only 0.4 degrees off. So that one happened to do very well. We would just need to adjust this counterclockwise to get it down to 32, and we'd be good to go. So now we'll just go ahead and adjust our T2. I'm just going to turn it clockwise until we get to 32 degrees, which we're there now. Now, also, you want to go ahead and check your T1 just to make sure that, that there's uh, no change in that as well. And, and that's how you do it. If you're looking for the tools used in this video, I have them linked down in the description below. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.